everyone, Dr. Dan here with Healthcare Evolution. Uh, so one of the other myths that I commonly hear from my patients is, is the exercise more diet. Now what this entails is, um, you know, people often tell me is, if I could just get to the gym more often, if I could work out more frequently, I would be able to lose the weight. And unfortunately, that is just not the case. What we know is that exercise really isn't all that effective for helping us with weight loss. Uh, to kind of put this, to do a little math for you here, um, if we wanted to burn one pound per week, we have to create a 3,500 calorie deficit for every single week, okay? So that comes out to be about a calorie deficit of 500 calories per day. Now, if we look at the average individual, when they go to the gym and they spend an hour at the gym, they're going to burn on average of two to 300 calories. Really depends on what they do and the intensity that they work out at. But let's be generous. Let's say an individual goes to the gym and they burn 300 calories every single or every time they go to the gym and they work out five times a week. So 300 times by five comes out to 1500 calories that would be burned through exercise every single week. Now, if we look at our 3500 calorie deficit that we need to make with that 1500, we haven't even made it halfway to burning a pound through exercise we still have a 2,000 calorie deficit that has to be made up somewhere else. So purely from a math perspective, we can already see that exercise really is gonna maybe help, but it's really not gonna help us actually burn, um, burn the pounds off, okay? Now, on the other side of it, we also got biology and the fact that we're human. And when we move more and exercise more, our bodies are going to be wanting to make up for any of the calories that we've lost. That's just evolution. You know, calories burned um, could be a bad thing. We don't know when the next famine is coming or when our next meal is going to be there. And so our bodies want to make sure it's making up for any calories that are lost in order to stave off and be able to survive. As well, from the human perspective, I mean, how, mu how many of us, after a really good workout, have gone to have our next meal and have said, you know what, I can have a little bit more, or there's dessert, yeah, I can have dessert, I worked out today, I'm allowed to have this. You know, we make the argument for ourselves, and that's, that's okay, that's us being humans, but ultimately, um, we end up consuming more food after a workout, which ultimately takes away from that calorie deficit that was created through exercise. So overall, exercise really isn't effective for weight loss. Now, in saying that, um, I don't want to discourage anybody from doing exercise because exercise is one of the, probably one of the most important determinants of your overall health next to your overall nutrition. Exercise, you know, prevents cancer, reduces cholesterol, helps manage your blood sugars. The benefits of exercise could go on and on and on and on. And there is no therapy, no drug that we can prescribe that is going to be better than activity, um, no matter if it's at the gym or just taking the stairs rather than the elevator. And on top of all that, exercise we do know is actually very beneficial for maintaining any weight loss. So after you've lost the weight, exercise has the benefit of helping us keep the weight off for the long term. So we don't want to cut exercise out, don't want to discourage it by any means, but thinking that if I could just get more exercise in and that's going to cause me to lose weight is kind of the wrong way to go about it. Anyways, um, keep up with the exercise, keep up with the activity. And I hope that helps, guys. Have a good one.